Dear viewers, welcome to another episode of Jammer and Forms. In my last video, I have shown how can I create a list view in a Jammer and Forms application. In this video, I will show how can I add, update, or delete item from this list view. At first, I'll create a new page. I'll create a new page for add or edit product page. I create an entry and the button. If I click on this add button, I will create a click command. If I click on this add button, it will go into this add or edit product page. And if I click on this save button dot pop async, it will back to main screen. I'll create a add or edit product view model. I will burn this model into this error edit product page. For that, I have to create namespace I'll bind this model. Okay, let's run this application. Just click on add button. It will go into add or edit product phase. And if I click this save button, it will go into the main list. For I add item, Binding context dot product. So we have to pass this object into this list view. So how can I pass this item product object in our main screen list view? For do that we have to use messaging center. This is a Jammering Messaging Center, that is the publisher and message and subscriber. Publisher send the message and subscriber receive this message. We can send object 
into this meshes so let's do that for send this object we have to add a messaging center dot send the first parameter who send this message this string to send add or in product paste and it will send this product object and so we need a subscriber for that from product page to we'll send product info if product dot product id equal zero then item list dot add this product for add item id for a product id product dot product id equal com plus one okay let's run this laptop one set this is the newly added item in, into this list there is no picture for added image if I will just add a laptop dot png. Okay, now run this application. Laptop two price thirty thousand. Okay, that's cool. The item has been added into this list. Now, I'll click on this update button, and it will pop up into this add or edit item page, and I will update this item. So, how can we do that? For do that, here already I have added edit button, and I will add a extra recognizer. Uh, image dot guest recognizers tab guest recognizer new event tab
and I will bind a common parameter I will bind a product ID as a common parameter ok just click on this image or tap on this image it will go into this function I will get a tap even argument we will find this even argument here and I will convert as tap even argument product info well binding context and bind wire product id equal tapped even argument dot parameter and I will convert this as and will navigation dot push async add or edit product page and pass this product info add to add product info equal to null product info not equal null dot product equal this product info so let's run this application okay if i click this edit button will show that the product info is not loaded the reason of this is mvvm concept for do that we have to add I notify property changes implement this and I'll add this and we have to add another product in four and product info and setter product info equal to value and we have to call on property changed let's run this if I click on this edit button it will populate if I click on this save button it will go into the main list and we have to change else this item list dot First for default. Okay, let's run this. If I change this fit to five, we 
it's not updated for do that at first we have to remove this item from this item list and at okay, let's run this application Okay, just change this value. If I click, it will go into this last position and change. If I keep the original position, we have to this let's see what happened okay if I click this mouse and change this 300 and save okay that's good and if I change keyboard to save staying this original position okay now let's tap this delete button let's see how can I delete this item from this list okay, for do that we have to add a recognize Copy that code product info view model bonding context dot item list dot remove that product info. Okay, let's run. Okay, if I click on this delete button, this item is deleted from this list. So, thank you very much for watching my videos.